people who don't know me very well won't know that I've had some real misgivings about uh, the new Labour leader. I don't imagine anyone will be terribly surprised to learn that I'm thrilled about the general election result. What some people won't understand, the people who don't know me very well, won't know that I've had some real misgivings about uh, the new Labour leader, or the new Labour Prime Minister, I should say, uh, Keir Starmer in the past. I actually voted for Keir as a, a party member, and I did so because Keir Starmer has spent his life as a, a lawyer specialising in human rights, and human rights is something that is a real passion of mine. So, much as I wanted Labour to win, because the only realistic way to beat the Tories is through Labour, I have had some misgivings, which is why Left Eye View as a channel um, went really pretty damn silent uh, ever since uh, Keir Starmer stopped behaving in the way that I anticipated a human rights lawyer would. I'm, th I'm thrilled again today to learn that the first act of this Labour Party will be to scrap the Rwanda plan. And the reason I'm so thrilled is because that is an absolutely barbaric abuse of human rights. It's also very reminiscent of the Nazi plan in 1940, uh, which they ratified at the Vansi conference to deport European Jews to Madagascar and just leave them there to die. I made a video about that, uh, which I will link in the um, in the description below and if I'm technically able to do it, I can't always manage to make that work, but there will hopefully be a card appearing somewhere around there when this video is finally done. And if you click on the card, that will also take you to the Rwanda video. The Tory government, which isn't terribly interested in rights, made that decision in 2022. In 2021, the same Tory government had told the United Nations that Rwanda was an abusive state, it uh, was guilty of human rights abuses, and <clears throat> actually, get this, had some refugees who were starving, and when they asked for food, and got a bit rowdy about it, but I don't think there was any terrible danger to life and limb, but the government sent the Rwandan police in, who shot 14 of them dead. Yet our government now claims that Rwanda is perfectly safe and they're sending their people there. Keir Starmer has just killed that. That's not happening, which, apart from the human rights problem, was actually a very expensive white elephant that only uh, would have covered a very small amount of people at massive national expense. It was just a dog whistle. Uh, and it was a dog whistle to the um, to the mean-spirited far right whose lack of compassion means that they're happy for anything to happen to anyone as long as it's not them. So, right now I'm chuffed. Because not only have we got the Labour landslide that I didn't dare believe, we also have seemingly a compassionate government that's interested in human rights, as I always hoped. But again, didn't dare to believe. So as a result, Left Eye View is coming back because I actually feel able to talk about politics on the left in the UK uh, in a way that doesn't utterly depress me. 
and um, there'll be more left eye view to come. Thank you for watching. Watch this space.